Good morning, everyone. It's another gorgeous day. What a beautiful weekend we've had. Welcome to Blue Stem. It is Sunday, June. I don't remember what day it is. Nothing new over here. I don't, I don't remember the date. It's Sunday. It's the first Sunday in June. Anywho, um, we have plenty of plants, like I promised. We got plenty. We had a heck of a day yesterday. So, oh, my hair's going to be blown around. Fraggle hair, don't care. Uh, we had quite quite a day yesterday. Um, we, we did have a lot more plants and we had a lot of friends come yesterday and, and buy a bunch of them. So if you were looking for a butterfly milkweed, we sold out, um, but we will be getting more in soon. And of course we're growing our own as well. We had a uh, trumpet honeysuckle sold out we'll have more um, so keep an eye on the website for that we currently have more of the sundial lupin it's looking gorgeous um, we have some gorgeous beautiful carex grasses look at all of these beautiful don't be afraid to plant grasses they're gorgeous most of these are clumping forms um, some of them are spreaders so they would be better for like a meadow setting but they're they're so beneficial they they are host plants for dozens of caterpillars and moth of uh, butterflies and moths and as well as feeds birds creates habitat for so many creatures so uh definitely beneficial we are starting to have some wildflowers coming up so we have uh black-eyed susan rebecca herda those have, were put out yesterday. Those are going to be gorgeous. Obviously, you can see we had some winds last night. So we're putting the whole place back together. Um, yeah, so some beautiful ferns. Look at our little our ferns. There they are. Cinnamon fern. Royal fern. Beautiful, beautiful ferns. There is one plant I wanted to show off. We're going to go for a bit of a walk here. Oh, okay. Two plants. I lied. Look at these guys. Viola pedata, bird's foot violet. The flowers have already passed. You can see a few of them over here. Super, super sweet. But check out that foliage. That is really cool. Not your typical violet foliage. I love it. You can see how they get their name, the bird's foot. So cool. Love it. I love that we have native plants that are not your typical, what you, you know, your typical run of the mill plants. I love that. So we had a ton of shrubs and trees and y'all bought us out. So slim pickings for a little while, but that's okay. We'll have more, but these are really what I wanted to show you. Um, we just got in a ton of Rosa Virginiana beautiful beautiful native roses these are gonna bud very soon or flower very soon they have buds gorgeous um, these get about four feet tall they do have prickers but um, yeah they're not pleasant to handle but when if you go below when you're planting them you go below the um, the root ball is, is fine to handle just wearing some nice gloves uh, these are wonderful host plants too the host plant for the prometheus moth which is a gorgeous um moth with some really pretty colors if you haven't seen it look that one up um they are deer food <laughs> but that's not necessarily a bad thing so they can handle deer pressure um and deer do enjoy eating them so we recommend kind of planting these on the borders of your garden let the deer eat these guys they typically, I'll always say typically, they, I won't promise anything, typically won't eat them down to the ground. They'll just munch on the leaves. Um, and then the plants, they'll come right back. Um, it's rare that they would eat them down to nothing and then the plant doesn't come back. So these are a great plant to put around the borders of your garden. Let the deer munch on these. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll leave the rest of your garden alone. Um, and in the meantime, you're gonna get some beautiful blooms. It's like a pinkish bloom with um, 
like a, the yellow orange center. You can kind of see the photo there, maybe if I'm aiming it right. And then these do have re uh, edible rose hips as well, um, which the birds also very much enjoy. So yeah, definitely um, give the Virginia rose a try. We have a lot of them. We made sure to uh, order as many as we could get our hands on because they are a hugely valuable plant and people have been asking for these in the Carolina rose a lot this season already. Um, still working on the Carolina rose. We'll have those later in the season. Um, but yeah, only four feet tall. They're bush. They, they you know, bush out. Uh, so they'd be a great option for your garden. So give those a shot. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of days with some more gorgeous plants. So take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.